Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through how to label up a distribution board or consumer unit using the Brother E550W label printer. I'm using Strong Adhesive Pro Tape and the Pro Tool smartphone app. So, here we've got a distribution board that needs labelling. There are two ways to do this using the E550. The first one I'll show you is creating the label on the printer itself. And then when I've shown you that, I'll talk you through doing the same thing with the app. So on the device, select this option here. Straight away, it'll ask you to enter your block length. Here we have a 12-way board, so that means we want to print 13 blocks so that we include the main switch. You can do the full label on the printer, but for speed, I'm just going to show you how to create a block of four. Now our block size is 18 millimeters, and we've got four blocks. So I'm going to choose a style of separator where we have full border all the way around, and next, we need to choose the orientation of the text. If you're doing a standard domestic consumer unit like this one, you'll probably want horizontal text. But if you're labelling a three-phase unit, you might want to use vertical labels. You've got an option to print the labels in reverse, which we don't want here. If you select Advanced On, then you can change the size of each block individually. And once you're happy with the label, just hit Print. And you can see how this label has the four blocks that we designed. Now I'm going to show you how quickly and easily you can do the same thing using the app. So we go into the Pro Label Tool app, we scroll down until you see Distribution Board. Here you can choose from some pre-prepared templates, but I'm going to show you how to create one from scratch. Here you want to go into Patch Panel and Create New. The first thing to do is enter the block width of the board that you're working with. Now this one's 18 millimeters, but you can select any width you want with an accuracy of a tenth of a millimeter. So if you're working with one which has got a 17.5 millimeter block width, then that's no problem. You can choose horizontal or vertical orientation here. Again, for standard domestic boards, you're going to want horizontal, but you've got the option of vertical as well. Now, because this board is a 12 way, we need to choose 13 ports so that we'll also have a label for the main switch. And because we've got two RCDs on this board, we'll set the block length ratio to two because it's twice the size of a standard breaker. Then it will let us input the block layout for this panel. So it's 13, two RCDs, a block length ratio of one, two, three, four, five, six. Then you can choose how you want to separate it. Now again, I like to use the full frame because I think it makes it nice and easy to read. When you click done, you'll see the design you've created. If there's anything you want to change at this point, just click on the template and adjust anything about the label that you want to until you've got it exactly how you want it. Then from here, you can type any text you want for each block. Once you're happy that it's ready to go, hit print. Now it will ask you how you want to cut the labels, something we'll explain in detail in the next video and it'll give you a final preview of what you're going to get. So I'm just going to tap print and there we are. Now I can peel the backing off the label, line it up and apply it to our distribution board. And whatever surface you're working with, whether it's smooth or textured, the strong adhesive pro tape is designed to stay stuck on there for a long time. There you have it, a professionally labeled distribution board.